While the recent flooding has made things difficult around Kelloland, that doesn't mean it's washed away opportunities for fun. Kelloland's Max Hofer joins us this morning to tell us about how you can enjoy being outside this weekend. Max? Good morning, Matt. Now, while some parks are closed around Sioux Falls due to the flooding, uh, for example, I'm at Cherry, uh, Cherry Rock Park right now. It's got this bright orange and white barricade here for you to tell you you cannot go in. But for the people who are looking for some weekend fun, there are still plenty of parks around Sioux Falls for them to enjoy. While the bike trails will be closed at noon today, the trail to fun is wide open for the weekend. We've got 80 parks, you know, there's, there's less than a dozen that are flooded or closed, so you know, find another way to, to enjoy our park system if you could. Sertoma and McKinnon are just a few of the parks that are still open. But you may want to keep an eye out for some pond. There are still some some floodwaters uh, around Sertoma Park because a lot of the water, you know, from around the mall area flows into um, Sertoma Park before it gets into the river. From some walking their dogs to taking their kids out for fun on the playground, people are already taking advantage of the nice weather. Yeah, uh, once it starts getting nicer out, anyways, and since the weather's been getting nicer and all the flooding's clear, we just it was a quick pit stop to. <laughs> Stop at the park and hope it wasn't flooded and everything's nice. Uh, there's a great walking loop out at Keene Park. I realize it's out on the west side, but it's it's available. Uh, you know, just find other ways to recreate outside of the parks that are flooded. We have more water on the way, which is making some all the more eager to get out and have some fun before it comes. How about you, Damien? Are you having a good time today? <laughs> he wants to go play. <laughs> all right, well, I will keep you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Now, thousands of people use the trail system here in Sioux Falls, but one has to wonder how much debris is left over and what actions are the crews taking to clean it up? Well, you can find out on the upcoming uh, Eye on Kelloland this Monday. And if you'd like to have a list of all the parks that are closed in Sioux Falls, you can find a link under this story at kelloland.com. Reporting live at Cherry Rock Park, I'm Max Hofer, Kelloland News.